Hi there, my name is Nicola. Welcome to my channel where we learn stuff about WordPress, pure HTML and CSS, and Bootstrap. Today I want to continue the video series about Smart Slider. So far we talked about creating slideshow from scratch and using templates. Also, I show you how to add two buttons in Slideshow. I will put the links for those videos in description, don't worry. And this time, let's add more controls over your slides. Let's see how to change arrows, bullets, adding shadow, and so on. Let's go. Okay, guys, this is the Smart Slider dashboard. And here is the sli uh, slideshow from last few tutorials with Sahara, with Antarctic, ice, and I add one slide about rainforests with some text and new image. So in this tutorial, let's see how to change those arrows, how to put bullets here or maybe here to add a thumbnail, shadows and some extra text. Those are, uh, those are our slides. And beneath title, two buttons is our title, we have the controls options. This is options for arrow. So the default, I think this is default, but let's add another one, for example. Choose this one. And here you can change the shape. For example, let's add arrows with circle. Also, you can change the color. Key. You can change the hover state and add another color. In arrow style, you can change. You, uh, this is our styles for now. You can change the background color, box shadow, opacity, and add some padding, border, or border radius. Also, you can do this for hover state. Okay. And then here is the previous position. And here you can uh, position your controls, for example, middle left or let's see bottom center, center with 15 pixels. And this one also let's set, for example, no, set uh, here and here. Okay. Now let's click on save and see our slides. See, those are slides, uh, our controls, our arrows. Now, okay, now let's go on bullet. Bullets, this is our indicators and position. And here you can change the position. For example, let's add it middle right and plus 10 pixels. Here you can change the offset. Okay, and here you can change the dot style. Again, background color and box shadow, and just like this, okay? And you can change the color for active style. From default value, let's choose the white one, okay? Also, you can add the image and activate shows on hover. Of course, you can hide it on mobile, tablet, or full screen, or big screen sizes. Okay, let's refresh and see our indicators here. Also, you can put your indicators there, there, here, and see, in this position, um, uh, in inside your slide and outside. Let's set it outside, click on save. You can see it right there. In many slides, you can find your bullets. This is the default position, just like here, there, actually there. Okay. Now let's go to the text bar, click on uh, Activate it and you can choose the this 
scheme here or this one. Also, you can change the position. You can animate it. And you can change, you, this is the bar, and you can change the background color, text color, and so on. So, before that, let me show you. You need to put some text for each slide. Just click Save here. I already add text for title and description, but let me show you. For every slide, you need to add title and description in content area. This is the title and this is description. Okay. You must do that for every slide if you want to, to have some text here beneath your bullets. Okay. Let's preview now. And this is our text in this bar. See? Okay. Now let's go to the thumbnails and let's exclude the text bar for a moment. This is the width or and height for your thumbnails, the position. For example, let's add thumbnails here. This is the option start, center and space between, space around. Also, you can change the style for bar and style for thumbnail. Okay. Here you can set the minimum thumbnail count and show zone hover. Let's click on save and let's refresh it. You see your thumbnails are here. Okay. Now let's see how to add inside our slides. Inside, I think we need to middle left. Let's change the this style, background color set to transparent. Click on save. You see now, it is much better. Okay. Now, and the final option is the shadow. Let's activate it. And here you can choose your, your own shadow. For example, let's add this one. And you can hide it on mobile, tablet, or large screens. Click on save. And let's refresh and see our shadow. Okay, guys, this is all for today's video. Of course, if you have any questions, write down in the comments. I hope that this video is very helpful to you because this is very interesting options and features in built-in smart slider. Before the end, if you want to support me, my work and my channel, subscribe and for more fun, smash the bell notification. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.